Welcome to Sunday School for Sunday, September 24th, 2023 for our junior high students, ages 12 to 14. The memory verse for today's lesson is Genesis chapter 9, verse 11. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. The title of today's story, Comfort in the Storm. The last time Katie had prayed for protection, she was in second grade, now huddled on the floor of the church with her friend Mara. She was sure they would be safe from the tornado. They had been the last ones to leave. By the time Mara had packed her bag and they had reached the door, the high wind rushed in just as they opened it. Myra screamed as the force of the wind hurled them to the floor and whimpered as the wind howled. Katie just held her hand tightly and prayed out loud, Lord, I know you are with us even though we are trapped in this building and nobody knows where we are. Father, you know. You will protect us in our time of need. Amen. Katie prayed. The window banged even harder and Mara sobbed louder. I'm so sorry, Mara said through tears. I just took too long. Katie tried to smile to reassure her. God is with us. We are children of God. Think about our Bible lesson and how God promised to protect all living things. He sent a rainbow like a contract. I won't let anything happen to you either. Mara hugged Katie. Appearing calmer, she joined hands with Katie and prayed some more. After a few minutes, the wind died down and they heard a voice calling out. Pastor Mark was checking the damage. He heard the girls talking and found them. God looked out for you too. Trees are uprooted and there's stuff everywhere, but the church was almost untouched. He said, the girls were glad to see their pastor. Most of all, they were glad God spared them. Mara thanked Katie for being strong and helping her. They both thanked God for keeping them safe. The lesson scripture is coming out of Genesis chapter 9, verses 8 through 17. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish my covenant with you, and with your seed after you, and with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl, of the cattle, and of every beast of the earth, with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you, neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood, neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass, when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant, which I have established between me and and all flesh that is upon the earth. An Everlasting Covenant God initiated the covenant given to Noah and all creation, even though the presence of a rainbow was not a new phenomenon. It took on a new meaning when God used it as a reminder to not flood the earth again and destroy all creation. Just like people today need assurance of their safety, Noah received a promise about the future of his safety and all those around him. Everyone can be confident that every time they see a rainbow, it serves as a reminder to mankind that God's covenant is everlasting. How to see the grace of the covenant. Give God praise for all he does every day. 
Read the Bible to learn more about God's promises. Always trust that God has your best interest in mind. Call out to God in your times of need. Erase all doubt and fear through prayer. A natural disaster can cause great anxiety over the safety and welfare of loved ones. How can loved ones be assured of God's protection in the future? God said that the rainbow would remind him of the covenant to protect all living creatures. Katie knew their situation was dire, but she also knew God was her protector. She had com come to rely on God and shared that with Mara. At first, Mara was leaning on Katie for protection. Katie reminded Mara that God's promise was that he would protect all creation. By the storm's end, Mara also realized that God's promise of protection was true and that she could count on him in the future. The Daily Home Bible Readings for the Week Monday, the topic is Dark Counsel Lacking Knowledge. Read Job chapter 38, verses 1 through 7. Tuesday, the topic is Limited Knowledge and Influence. Read Job chapter 38, verses 12 through 18. Wednesday, the topic is The Expanse Beyond Human Control. Read Job chapter 38, verses 28 through 38. Thursday, the topic is Overshadowed by God's Greatness. Read Job chapter 40, verses 6 through 14. Friday, the topic is The Wrath of the Lord. Read 2 Chronicles chapter 34, verses 14 through 21. Saturday, the topic is A Humble and Penitent Heart. Read 2 Chronicles chapter 34, verses 22 through 28. Sunday, the topic is Human Achievement Without God. Read Genesis chapter 11, verses 1 through 9. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.